There is reality that's in the moment right now. But in five minutes, it's going to change. And what you're going to change into from right now into the next five minutes is based upon what you've been telling yourself. People don't know how to build their faith. Ask them, what do you do to build your faith? Your faith in your life and the faith in what's coming. Ask them. They don't know how to do that. They, they might have this, this idea, but it's like they've never formulated it. And let me show you what faith is. Choosing something to look forward to. That's faith. Changing the mind from being a doubter to a believer. That builds faith. Removing negative reactions and focusing on calmness and patience and balance. That builds faith. Taking action towards something you hope for. That's faith. Believing in yourself and that it's possible to learn and learn new skills and try new things. That's faith. This is like the five elements of faith building. So I, I, I don't tell people that because some people think that faith is only a church term. <laughs> they think like, oh, that's, oh, we're talking about church now? We're talking about religion? Uh, no, <laughs> faith is humanity. It, if it's missing in the human being, that means that that human being is existing in hopelessness. Faith and hope work together. And how do you build hope? Well, you got you to be, you got to have something you're looking towards, a, a star. How do you have hope? Well, you practice bringing down the walls. Well, how else another way do you have hope? Well, you recognize the negative reactions that cause bad things to happen and you reduce that. It builds hope that you can actually get through emotional triggers, through walls. How do you build hope? You take action towards the thing you would love to experience. How else do you build hope? You like yourself. You give yourself one million chances. Give yourself a million chances. And actually you like who you are. That builds hope. So this is building hope, which... Hope and faith are cousins, and they literally, faith is right there with it. That's what you're doing. I got to tell you, it's why I love coaching, because it's really building foundational principles in people's lives. So I'm not coaching just so people can have a big house or make tons of money. No, those are byproducts of somebody who believes in themselves. Those are byproducts. The main product I'm focused on is that person's hope and faith. And so when they build a vision board, they're practicing hope. They're practicing faith. When they write a life story, they're practicing hope. They're practicing faith. All of these techniques you will learn from me all are pointed at building hope and building faith. Because if this human being doesn't have hope and they don't have faith, they're not going anywhere. They're going to be hopeless and doubtful. And both of those are damaging to them, to their relationships, to their progress, to their potential, and to the people around them. Damaging. So I have a fire in my belly about coaching and the fire just moves me to work with people, to help them. And so when you're looking at this, you might be thinking, oh yeah, that's going to help them get a goal. Well, deeper than that, 
It's going to help them with life. And that's what I love about coaching. I love it because I get what it's doing to people. And I, and I hope you embrace it too, because whatever your topic is, whatever your content is, you're building hope in that person. You're building faith in that person that they can do it, that they can make it, that they can get through their struggles, that they can make it through whatever comes to them because they believe in themselves. That is what's cool about what we do.